at the moment we know there is about seven coronaviruses that infects man. We know that four of them seldom will cause any severe disease. Okay, it's the common cold and in 1960 they've already proven that around about 50% of all the colds that you get is actually due to coronaviruses uh, and not causing severe disease. But then in 2003, 2004, we started having a coronavirus that was named SARS, SARS-1, SARS-CoV-1. And then uh, in 2013-14, we had the MERS. What we know is that now we have a novel uh, uh, virus, also coronavirus. I think it's important if you talk about the amount of people that will get ill. So there's basically three groups of people. 80% of people will not get severe disease. It's mild disease, it will be like you have a cold. Then you have a, around about 16% of people that will have disease and you will have to go and see your doctor. There's a 4% uh, of people that will get severe disease. And this critical disease is due to the pneumonia that you've got that you can't breathe. In those cases, you will need uh, ICU. What we see is that the death rate at the moment, the fourth group that I'm talking about, is basically the 2% that will then not make it. So, but 50% of people that have severe disease can be helped. In the studies that I have read, uh, it seems like children 0 to 14 is not really the people who get ill. Okay, they get mild disease most of the time. The rest is the people that's 15 to 54. Those are the most infected, but we can think that is because they move around, they fly around, those people are shaking hands, they are meeting a lot of people. So of course, those will be the, the most. But then you get the group that is more elderly. If they get this disease, what will happen is that their chances of actually uh, surviving this disease is actually not as good as people yet younger. And what we see is that your diabetes, your hypertension, your cardiovascular diseases, those are the people that will perhaps, uh, you know, uh, die easier. If I talk, I cough or I sneeze, what is happening is that small particles are coming out of my mouth. If these small particles is one micron in size, if it comes out of my mouth, it will fall to the, to the floor very slowly. Then we know it can take 7.9 hours to settle one meter in the air. If they are bigger, and let's say they five microns, then what will happen is that they will fall faster and it just takes just over an hour for them to settle onto the ground. But then what you get is as they fall to the ground, they actually lose their water and they can become smaller also. And I think that's the important important part that these small particles lose their water, they get smaller and they drift back into the air. It, when these particles that is bigger than five, they mostly fall to the floor, they fall onto surfaces. These surfaces can be anything around you, it can be the tables, it can be your computer, they can survive for quite a long time. Now if I say quite a long time, it depends on the temperature in the room. So it's important that one realise that touching uh, the money or things, that transmittance is then direct transmission from your hands to your face and once you touch your face you will take that particles into your mouth and what will happen or into your nose and what will happen is that uh, disease will start. Are we going to have more infections than other countries? Are we more prone to have more infections? How will it start? How will it end? We don't know and that is why we are overreacting. And I think that fear is making it that the fake news is driving it also. So we are expecting quite severe disease, but I think one must not panic at all. Once you panic, you can't do anything. You're on a standstill, you can't think. And we need to think now. We need to learn and we need to make sure that we understand this disease. The, the amount of knowledge is just growing and growing and growing. As soon as we start to understand what is going to happen, what this virus is really doing, then what will happen is the fear will disappear. But go back to the things that you know. WHO, CDC, NICD, those are the things that you must make sure you take your knowledge from. So those are the people that know, they won't lie to you, and that is what is open and out there and the truth.